Hi, my name is Nathan Florsheim, and I am a photo and video instructor at the Evanston Art Center. Thanks to the Philip and Edith Leonian Foundation, we are able to present you with a series of video tutorials to help you with your photography process at home. In this video, we are going to be going over how to import and organize your files using Adobe Bridge, which is an organizational tool from Adobe that is free. It is often used with programs like Photoshop or other editing software. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your device is plugged into your computer, whether that is straight from the camera or you have an SD card reader attached. Once it is plugged in, you're going to want to go up to File and Import from Device. This is one of the two ways that we're going to be importing today, and this is the one that I use most frequently because I often do not rename any of my files until after I've imported them and selected the ones I want to use. Your device will appear under the Devices tab, and as soon as you highlight it, you'll begin to see your files appear. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Import To and tell Adobe Bridge where you want your files to be imported to. Scroll down to the bottom and select Other, and this is where I will go over how I create my folder system. The first thing I like to do is choose whether I want it on my desktop or in my documents, and I will create a main folder where I will have subfolders existing. So for this, I'm going to name it Photography 2020. And the photos that I am importing are from a trip to Iceland. And so I'm going to change the name of the subfolder to Iceland 2020. I know that I brought two cameras on this trip, and this group of photos is from my Fuji. So I'm going to create another new folder called Fuji Raw because these would be my unedited files. I will then go and hit Choose. And from here, I select the files I want. You can either download all if you want all the files, but if you're just doing a group, you're going to want to select the first one, scroll down until you find the last of the group that you're going to want to be importing, and you will hold down your shift key when you reach there and click the last one. This will select the first and the last and everything in between. Then you can go ahead and hit download. You can also go through and select individual files this way, but I recommend doing it in groups because if you accidentally do the wrong thing, you may deselect everything. But what I'm doing here is clicking on one file, holding down my command key, and clicking on another. Now that they're imported, I can eject my device. You want to make sure you do this when you're using an SD card reader as to not corrupt your device by removing it too early. We want to make sure that when in Adobe Bridge we are on our desktop folder or wherever we created our photo folder. I am already there and I am in the Essentials tab on the top left and so you can see I can easily navigate and see the folders on my desktop. If I double click on Photography 2020, you'll see all the folders we just created. Once we see all the files, this is where I like to switch the layout from Essentials to Film Strip. This allows you to see a large preview of each image and you can scroll through with the keypad. From here, we can use Adobe's star rating system to choose our favorite photos. You can assign a star rating from one through five, but typically what I do is I go through and give all my favorites that I know I'm gonna edit or use later a five star rating. You do this by hitting Command-5 on your keyboard, and you will see a star rating appear underneath the photo. The reason for doing this is it allows you to save your favorite photos in a larger grouping. So if I were to leave and come back in a couple weeks, I can just filter my screen to only show the five star ratings and I can pick up from where I left off. To filter based on ratings, go to the left side of the screen and select the five star option under ratings. This will now only display the files that you've rated five stars on your screen. If these are the only files from this set that you want to work with, often what I will do is move them to a different folder. To do this, select the group by clicking on the first file, holding down shift, and then clicking on the last file, similarly to when we imported. From here, you're gonna do Control or right click on one of the files, go to Move To, and select Choose Folder at the bottom. From here, we can navigate at the top bar and click Iceland 2020. And instead of putting them in Fuji Raw, let's create Fuji Selections, and this will be our favorites that we can move here. As soon as we hit open, the files will disappear, and that is because they are now in a different folder. If we deselect the five star, we'll see all our unselected photos, and we can navigate back to Iceland 2020, and we'll see our new folder called Fuji Selections, where all of our favorite files live. Now let's say you want to rename this set of files so there's something other than a bunch of letters and numbers. 
select the grouping and go up to tools batch rename this window you have a in this window you have a variety of options of how you want to rename your files what i do is go where it says text and i'll often give the files a keyword a date and any other indicating information that would make it easy to search or identify for this i'm doing iceland underscore 2020 underscore selections Underneath, we have our sequence number. I will most often have this start at one and be two digits. What this does is it will add a number to each file and have it increase sequentially to help organize them. If you would like to add more information, you can hit the plus symbol and add various rows and add things like the date or different types of metadata, but I typically just keep it to the text and the sequence number. You're gonna go and hit rename and this will automatically rename all your files and you can see that it is increasing sequentially with the number at the end of the file name. Now, if you were to want to quickly search for a file in your finder, you could just type in Iceland underscore 2020 and it will show you all the files. Now, let's go over the second way that you can import files using Adobe Bridge. This is the way that I use if I wanna rename the files from the start and be more selective about the files that I'm importing. Once again, we are going to go up to File, and this time go to Get Photos from Camera. My computer goes straight to the Advanced dialog, but you can navigate between the Advanced and Standard dialog in the bottom left-hand corner. So if your screen looks like this, just click on Advanced, and it'll bring you to this window. We are now going to go up where it says Location and click Choose. We are now going to navigate to our desktop once again, find our Photography folder, go to Iceland, and we're going to create another new folder. This one we can call Fuji Raw 2 because it's going to be a different batch of photos. Go ahead and select that folder and hit open. From here, you can actually have this importer create subfolders for you. However, I still like to do it manually. Go over where it says get photos from and we can choose our device. It will then start to load our thumbnails. Compared to the first import method that we did, this one can typically take a little bit longer to load the previews of your photos since they are a little larger. While they are loading, we can go ahead and rename our files by going where it says Rename Files, and you have a variety of different formats you can use. I like to use the custom name and do a similar naming method to what we did earlier. So I'll go ahead and write that out. This also has the sequential number, but here you'll just tell it what number you want to start with. Once we've renamed the files and the previews have loaded, we can start scrolling through and selecting which ones we want to import. For this one, you're going to want to make sure that everything is unchecked, which will be in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and you can then go through and select the photos you want to import by clicking the little check boxes. Just like before, if you want to select a grouping, you can click on the first file, hold down the shift key, and click on the last. But this is a much better method for going through and importing individual files that are not in a group together from the same date or the same shoot. Once everything is selected, you can go to where it says apply metadata. And this is where you can add information to the files like a copyright or the name of the creator. So what I did is I went ahead and just added my name to both of these photos and they are now embedded into the files themselves. Once you've edited your metadata, you also have a final option to have the importer delete the original files off your device for you. However, this is optional and you can always do it manually off of your camera. You can now hit Get Media to import your files. And once they have fully imported, you can close out of the importer itself. However, to eject your device, you are going to have to navigate to your finder and eject it there. You can now go to your photography folder in Adobe Bridge, and you will see that your Fuji Raw 2 folder is there with all the images you imported. And if you look, they will all be renamed already, so you do not need to do that. You can go ahead and do the five-star rating system that we went over earlier, and you are good to go. Once again, we would like to thank the Philip and Edith Leonian Foundation for providing the funding to make these videos possible. Stay tuned for more videos covering Photoshop, other editing softwares, and camera tips and tricks. Thanks.